Welcome to this week's edition of Helping Paws. My name is Officer Bravinato with the City of West Plains Animal Patrol. Let's take a look at the current dogs we have for adoption this week. Dog number 1478, impounded 815 of 17, is a mixed breed, medium in size, female, 8 to 12 months of age, tan in color, and was picked up on Monk Street. Dog number 1482, impounded 820 of 17, is a pit mix, male, medium in size, 1 to 2 years of age, tan and white in color, and was picked up on 2nd Street. Dog number 1483, impounded 822 of 17, is a hound mix, female, medium in size, 1 to 2 years of age, tan and white in color, and was picked up on County Road 6050. Now let's check out the dogs we currently have impounded. Now impounded is a little bit different than adopted. Adoptable dogs are ones that are ready to go. Impounded dogs are ones that have been recently brought in. Brought in meaning we have to hold them for five business days in hopes that the owner is looking for them. If after five business days, no owner surfaces, we can then legally adopt them out. So let's check them out. Dog number 1485, impounded 829 of 17, is a pit lab mix, female, medium in size, approximately six to seven months of age, black in color, and was picked up at Glen Oaks Trailer Board. Here on Helping Paws, we strive to reunite owners with their lost pets. That's why we've created the Helping Paws Watch List. If you're missing a pet, submit a picture, a short description, and your contact information via our Facebook page, City of West Plains Animal Control, and we will feature your lost pet on an upcoming episode of Helping Paws. If you're missing a dog in the West Plains area, be sure to contact me. You can contact the Animal Control Office at 417-255 1860 or the West Plains Police Department at 256-2244. And let's get that dog back home to you today. Well, thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Helping Paws. And remember, before you shop, try to adopt. Business owners demand it. We provide it. Reliable high-speed internet, phone systems, and TV services that keep them connected with their clients. We are Fidelity Communications, loyal to our customers who rely on innovative communications technology every day, each step of the way. Do business with accuracy, with precision. Do it at the speed of Fidelity. Learn more about Fidelity's complete range of business telecom solutions. Be connected with Fidelity Communications. Welcome to this extended edition of Helping Paws. Today we will also be featuring animals from the City of Rolla Animal Shelter. The Animal Shelter is located at 1915 Sharp Road in Rolla, Missouri. You can reach them by their phone number 573-364-6995. This is Aspen, impounded on 8-5-2017, fourth dog to come in that day. He is a male, he's found as a stray, he's also an American Boxer mix. He's a large dog, but very sweet and loves attention. Aspen loves to show off his beautiful blue eyes. Here's Scout. Scout was impounded on 7-28-2017, third dog to come in that day. He is an adult Labrador Retriever. Came into the shelter after being found as a stray. He is a large dog with lots of energy, strong desire to run and play. Looking forward to having a new family. Here's Adele. She was impounded on 7-17-2017. She was the fourth dog to come in that day. She's a middle-aged American Staffordshire and Blue Healer mix. She is very active and always looking for something to do and people to play with. Here's Leo. He was impounded on 8-18-2017, the third to be impounded that day. He is a male. He was found as a stray, picked up on August 18th on Highway 63. Leo is a collie mix with a wonderful disposition, and he seems to love everyone that he meets. Leo loves going out for walks and enjoys playtime. He is also very laid back and seems to be very docile. Leo will receive his rabies vaccination on August 25th, and then will be ready for his new home. If you would like to adopt any of these pets, please contact John Redshaw at the City of Rolla Animal Control Office. You can do so by his email at jredshaw at rollacity.org or by phone 573 Three six four six nine nine five. As well, we would like to advise the public that if you have found or are missing a pet, please call the shelter. Give them a description of the pet so it can be documented for reference. Stay tuned for more Helping Paws from Lebanon after this quick break. 
Fidelity Communications provides access to exclusive original content produced by our regional Local 6 production teams that features members of your community. And we want to remind you that your ideas count. So take action. Help us discover what makes your community unique. Let us know what you want to see on your Local 6. Visit our website, fidelitylocal6.com, and find the contact info for the production manager in your region. Help us make local television the best it can be by being a part of it. Welcome back. We're also featuring animals from the pound polars of Lebanon. To adopt, you can contact Tanya Dunn at 417-718-4414 or Barbara Kirsten at 417-718-8956. Be sure to visit their website at lebanonmopoundpolars.rescueme.org. With that, let's get started. Bubba is a young male kitten who has been neutered and is up to date on his vaccinations. Bubba is very outgoing and is good with most cats, dogs, kids, and adults. Onyx is a young male kitten who has been neutered and is up to date on his vaccinations. Although not displayed in this image, Onyx has a white bow tie coloration as well. He is good with most cats, kids, and adults. Flash is a young male kitten who has been neutered and is up to date on his vaccinations. He is a Siamese mix and very affectionate with people. He is good with most cats, kids, and adults. Aries is a young male who has been neutered and is up to date on his vaccinations. Aries loves to play and enjoys a good bath. He is good with most cats, kids, and adults. Ariel is a young female kitten who has been spayed. Ariel is very affectionate and loves to snuggle. She is good with most cats, kids, and adults. Aurora is a young female kitten that has been spayed. Aurora is very affectionate and playful. She is good with most cats, kids, and adults. Atlas, who responds to Addie, is a young female kitten that has been spayed. Although a kitten, Addie is happy to roam alone and enjoys a kitty bed. She is good with most cats, kids, and adults. Houdini, a young male schnauzer mix, has been neutered and is current on his vaccinations. Houdini is timid and anxious due to the neglected past. However, is housebroken and is beginning to trust again. He is good with most dogs, kids, and adults. Liz is a female puppy foxhound mix. She has been spayed and is current on her vaccinations. Liz is a stray that was found in a thunderstorm. She is very smart and quick to train. She is good with most cats, dogs, kids, and adults. Anna, a young female adult cat who was brought in as a stray. She has been spayed and is up to date with her vaccinations. She has been tested negative for feline leukemia and AIDS. She is also microchipped. She is good with most cats, dogs, kids, and adults. Cupcake is a young female adult cat that has been spayed and is up to date on her vaccinations. She has been tested negative for feline leukemia and AIDS. She is also microchipped. She is good with most cats, dogs, kids, and adults. Moon Pie, a young female kitten that has been spayed and is up to date on her vaccinations. She has been tested negative for feline leukemia and AIDS. She is also microchipped, good with most cats, dogs, kids, and adults. Poppy is a young male adult cat who is neutered, up to date on vaccinations, wormed, and treated for fleas and ticks. He has been tested negative for feline leukemia and AIDS. He is also microchipped, and he is good with most cats, dogs, kids, and adults. Meet Atticus, who is a male young adult lopped-eared rabbit. Atticus is a litter box trained and loves attention. He would thrive best though in a home where he is the sole pet. Please contact Amanda with pound pullers in regards to Atticus. This is Tyson. He is a male kitten who is up to date on his vaccinations, microchipped, and neutered. He is a sweet little bobtail, ready for a new start. Say hi to Polly Ann. She is a young female kitten who has been spayed, microchipped, and is up to date on her vaccinations. She is very playful and loves to purr away. Here's Polly Ann's sister, Pasty. She is a young female kitten that has been spayed, microchipped, and is up to date on her vaccinations. She enjoys playing with toys, but is independent as well. Here's Madison. She is a young female kitten, about 10 months old. She has been spayed, microchipped, and is up to date on her vaccinations. Madison has been through a lot and has recently returned to a healthy physique. Meet Apollo. He is a male Maine Coon mix kitten that has been neutered, microchipped, and vaccinated. Apollo enjoys playing with other cats and toys. He gets along with most cats, kids, and adults. This is Baxter, a young Maine Coon kitten mix who is up to date on vaccinations, microchipped, and neutered. 
He is affectionate and energetic kitten, ready for a new home. He gets along with most cats, kids, and adults. Say hi to Benny. He is a three and a half month old tabby that has been neutered, up to date with his vaccinations, and microchipped. Benny is very affectionate towards all humans. He gets along with most cats, dogs, kids, and adults. Here is Bella. She is a young adult short-haired tabby that has been spayed, microchipped, and is up to date on her vaccinations. She is very sweet and affectionate to humans, however, dogs scare her. She is good with most cats, kids, and adults. Remember, if you'd like to adopt any of these animals, contact Tanya Dunn or Barbara Corson. You can also visit the Lebanon M.O. Pound Pullers at .rescueme.org for more information. Thanks for tuning in this week, and remember, before you shop, try to adopt.